What's up YouTube and Amazon? Jefferson here with Sumi Gang Production. And this is the S-Zone Canvas Camera Bag by Penny Buying. I got this on Amazon and I want to thank Penny Buying for allowing me to review this unit. Like always, I'll provide a link in the description box below if you're curious and getting one yourself. So I want to start off by saying this bag is perfect for light traveling. Depending on what type of camera and lens you're using, you might be able to carry more or less. Since I'm using a micro four thirds system, I'm able to carry a lot more compared to packing this with my Canon Rebel T2i. It's able to carry my Panasonic G7 with my 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens attached my 40 to 150 millimeter zoom lens, my Rokinon 12 millimeter cine lens, my DSTE LED light, and my Audio Technica shotgun mic in the main compartment. If I pack my Canon T2i, I'm only able to carry one or two extra lenses depending if I remove the lens from the body. With all my gear packed in, it was able to carry my iPad mini and my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. Don't get me wrong, it was a tight squeeze, but it was able to handle it. I do love how there's two adjustable padded Velcro dividers that comes included. The Velcro itself is very strong, which at times gets difficult to adjust, but once it's placed, you don't have to worry about it moving around. The other great feature of this bag is the removable padding. You can remove it to wash the padding or remove it to use it as a regular shoulder bag. There are four extra pockets for storage, two in the front and two side pockets. The side pockets are small but great for cables, small batteries like AA or AAA batteries and things like that. The two front pouch pockets are great for larger batteries, filters and sizes of that nature. The front pouch is secured by a magnetic button which is great for convenience, however, the two side pockets are strapped on with a belt style lock. I don't recommend putting things in this side pocket if you're often using them as the belt gets really annoying to unstrap and restrap. All four pockets are covered by a flap so depending on how small your items are, it might fall out during traveling. The build quality is great, it's made out of high density cotton canvas with crazy horse leather trim. If you're not familiar with Crazy Horse Leather and what makes it unique is how it allows markings. When applying pressure to the leather like a scratch, it will leave a marking behind. Often when traveling, the leather will pick up some distinct markings, giving the bag character. That might be a good thing or a bad thing depending on you. The camera bag itself feels to be padded really well, which is great for protection. I still don't recommend dropping it, but at least it gives a little peace of mind. The shoulder strap is pretty straightforward, it's easy to adjust, and surprisingly it has a fixed shoulder pad. Instead of the traditional adjustable shoulder pad, I'm roughly 5 feet 5 inches and when properly adjusted, the shoulder pad laid perfectly on my shoulder. The shoulder pad has perfect placement for me, but it might vary on you. If you want to see what I normally carry in this bag, I made a what's in my bag video. Click here to go to that video. But that's pretty much it for this bag. If you have any questions or comment, be sure to leave them in a the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. If you like this video or if you just found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot. Like always, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Space premier equestrian facility. This is like taking your horse to a top resort. Let's take a look around. <laughs>